It is almost summer, but it's never too early to talk about the business of basketball at our state's flagship university, the University of Connecticut. And with us here today is the head coach of the men's basketball team, Coach Dan Hurley. And Coach Hurley, great to see you here on the program. Yeah, great to be here. A belated welcome to Connecticut. I know you've been here for about a year, and you moved in from Rhode Island. So what do you think of Connecticut so far? Well, it's, uh, obviously, I've seen about four different parts of it. Uh, you know, stores, uh, you know, the, the Champion Center, the XL Center home in the airport, you know, and then, uh, you know, potentially, you know, our favorite spot for recruiting dinners. So I have seen just kind of <laughs> like a, a little square of it, but uh, everyone's been so nice. What do you think of the people and the fan base so far? Well, I think it's a lot like... Um, like where I'm from, I think it's a, it's a lot like New Jersey. You know, I think uh, they have tremendous passion for, you know, everything UConn. But, you know, the difference for me is growing up in New Jersey, you'd go into a Dunkin' Donuts or into a restaurant, you'd see uh, Giants, Jets, Knicks, Nets, Yankees. Um, even in Rhode Island, you'd go to Starbucks and you'd see uh, Patriots, Red Sox, Celtics. You, you go anywhere here, all you see is see that Husky uh, logo everywhere. And, um, you know, because we are the, you know, the flagship uh, sports organization for the state. Yeah, people love UConn in, in our state, love that Husky logo. When you got that call and they told you you'd been hired, what went through your mind? Well, for, for me, it was a dream come true. Um, just growing up, you know, the, the two prominent programs, uh, you know, in college basketball, in terms of, like, championships and who I'd want to uh, emulate as a, as a young coach were, were Duke and and, and, and UConn, and uh, th those are the two best programs throughout my formative years in basketball. Um, you know, so the history, the tradition, just uh, to be called on to, to, to rebuild the program and restore it to its former glory was uh, just a dream come true for me. There was no March Madness for UConn fans. I know you were saddened certainly about it. We were all saddened about it. What about next year? I think we're going to be a lot better. You know, I think it's, uh, I think the season's going to have a little bit of a different feel to it. Um, there's going to be new, young, exciting players uh, that I think you'll be able to see our, uh, you know, our potential future, you know, better next year. Um, I think all of our returning players showed a lot of promise this year, showed great improvement. Um, I felt like the team this year would have uh, would have done even better and potentially been a postseason team if if we didn't have some critical injuries during the course of the year. So I'm just like excited to uh, you know, just to continue up on this climb. Could it be a Final Four team? Uh, Final Four of, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, um, no, I, I, listen, when you're in the position that we're in, it's like uh, you're just trying to get better, you know, and uh, it's a third straight year of, of, uh, of losing seasons. So, um, you know, we, we feel like uh, we could really compete for, the po for a postseason next year and that um, you know, we'll take the next step in just this kind of rebuilding project. How was UConn viewed in the high school world as you go out there and you recruit? What is the reputation of our university? The, um, you know, just four or five years ago, you know, the, these kids remember Shabazz Napier, um, you know, the national championship team. They understand how big, uh, you know, how big of a brand UConn is in college basketball uh, in, in general, both sides, uh, men's and women. So, um, you know, the brand is still exciting, you know, exciting student athletes that we're recruiting. You know, they, they uh, you know, they see the opportunity. They have a shared vision of, of what it could be. Um, obviously, we've got to continue to recruit the types of players that kind of led this program uh, when, it, when it was once championship caliber. Well, let's talk about the AAC ESPN deal. Um, some people love it. Some people don't. Where do you stand on that? Um, you know what? I think uh, the more you're on TV, the better. Um, I understand where it's potentially going to go from a digital standpoint, you know, years down the road and, and being ahead of that. Uh, you know, I, I understand that forward thinking, but, um, you know, kids want to hear that they're playing on, on ESPN, uh, you know, CBS, you know, Fox. They want to play on nationally televised games. Um, you know, and then the relationship with SNY is, is, is a great one for us. And, um, you know, so, you know, our, our kind of television, uh, you know, needs in the league are a little bit different than the rest of the conference. What about, um, uh, you know, some of the venues, uh, Gamble Pavilion, XL Center, obviously needs some work. Uh, many people have said either tear it down, rebuild it, uh, renovate it, make it uh, perhaps NHL worthy as well as NCAA worthy. What do you think? What's your yeah, idea? I probably uh, can't speak as much as Gino <laughs> did, uh, you know, did on it. I'll say, um, I'll say this, you know, it's... Um, you know, two different types of crowds when, when you've got a great crowd uh, in the XL Center. 
um, you know, and, and you could get close to 18,000 in there. Um, you know, it, it, it's a fine venue. It's 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 loud. Um, you know, during the national anthem, and you see that place packed. It's uh, you know, it, it, it's it's big time. Um, playing in Gamble's got such a great, uh, you know, youthful, you know, more of more of that on-campus type of feel. Um, you know, the, the challenge of it is, is you know, some days you wake up on game day and, you know, oh, am I at XL? Am I at Gamble today? Uh, well, you know, so just to, kind of my first year with that was uh, it, it was unique. Um, but the bus driver knows where to go. The bus driver, yeah, and the players, most importantly. They, you know, they're the most important people, so they know where to go. Do you have a favorite arena out there that you would perhaps recommend that if we were to rebuild the XL Center, it should be like? I just think that these uh, the arenas right now with the um, – and we went through it at, you know, at Rhode Island in the Ryan Center. Um, just having all the HD video, ribbon wrap, um, you know, just just all of the amenities that for, you know for the fan experience. Um, you know, you you we'll go play a basketball game out in the park during the summer, uh, you know, or in the winter. Yeah, you know, we'll go. Players will go play anywhere. Coaches will go coach anywhere. You just want to have a great fan experience. Obviously, it has a big impact in recruiting too. Um, you know, because of the types of arenas that uh, the people that we're competing against half. You know, uh, one big issue that's come up a lot this past week in, is in terms of should players be paid or be able to make some money off their likeness, images, things like that? In their yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I think at, at some point if, if we could get to, uh, um, you know, a point where they could make some money off their likeness, um, you know, I, I think that makes sense to me. Um, Do some players struggle financially? Uh, they, for the most part, they all do. Um, yeah, obviously, the full scholarship, um, the cost of attendance that they get from the NCAA and from the university, you know, the, the level that, that we uh, take care of our student athletes at right now is, uh, you know, I, I think is first class, but, um, you know, the, the, I think it, um, it would make it even better for them in terms of their ability, uh, you know, to function academically, athletically. People have no idea the amount of time that these guys invest, you know, practice, study hall, travel. Um, and, and if they could be compensated, you know, in some other way that way uh, with their likeness, I think that would make sense. We're all very excited about the 2019-2020 season. Best of luck to you, Coach Early, and thanks for coming on the program. Thanks.